Okay, and we are live. I'm just trying to get off the chair here. Well, we'll see. Hi, welcome back to the Color Hub with Michelle and Shannon and Lorelei and the Pack and Play. And the dogs. And the dogs. It's almost time to start already. Wow. It is. It's two minutes. 6.28. We are cutting it close tonight. <laughs> trying to get the uh, video working on the computer here so I can see what's going on and follow along with everybody. Alright, let me see and yep, yeah, we are live and so far we have a nice feed. Oh, don't, don't say anything. Well, no, because it's not Saturday, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Does that on Saturday? Lorelai's eating paper. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Get her fiber. Yep, get her fiber <laughs> in. All right. So tonight, is it time to get started? Pretty close. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, you could just chat or whatever. Yeah. Tonight we're going to be working in a couple different mediums. We're going to be doing. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be blocking in with some alcohol markers, which I think didn't we do alcohol markers last? Yeah, like last time, like last Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we've worked in alcohol markers. Um, this is my first time using past, pan pastels today. Getting ready for this, so we're gonna have you're gonna have to bear with me. <laughs> These... She's had them for a while, too, and she's all excited to use them, and then, oops. Yeah, and then <laughs> things happen. Yeah. <clears throat> And I actually got them because I wanted to do stuff like that. Oh, and I wanted to do black paper today, and I didn't. Oh, well. Um, oh, well, you're using the dark paper. It's close. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is our dog, Rocket, and I've got this really cool picture of him. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? If I hold it up like that. This picture right there. Of his eyes. Yeah. He's just stunning. And so is Loki, mm -hmm. but I don't have a picture like that of Loki. <laughs> so we're doing Rocket. And um, speaking of Rocket, we have a book that would make a great gift for uh, children mm -hmm. for Christmas, and it actually takes place at Christmas time. It's a children's book that Shannon wrote and I illustrated, and it is a true story about how Rocket saved his sister Freya, who is blind, during a Christmas during Christmas, during a snowstorm at Christmas. So um, these books are available on Amazon? Are they available yep, they're on available Amazon? on Amazon for $12. Um, <clears throat> they're available uh, through us for $11. So, yep. So um, it's cheaper to contact us. And <laughs> but they're a much. cute little story for the whole family and for the children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just if you like Huskies and you want to book about huskies <laughs> and it's an absolutely true story so that's really cool um all right so this is what we're going to be doing tonight we're, can you see it yep mm -hmm. okay yep. this is what we're going to be working on tonight i'm going to do a base layer of um see it little oh yeah it helps if i can see what you can see not really if there's delay but oh i was well, going to show lorelei oh, she was watching <laughs> it still helps me but okay okay let the child see. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're going to be doing a base layer of the alcohol markers. Then we're going to go over it with pan pastels, which um, it's these are really cool. They're just a very soft pastel, and if you don't like getting your fingers messy with soft pastels, um, these might be for you because you use tools, um, an applicator tool like these <clears throat> which they look awkward but I don't know you made them look easy to use yeah they're very easy to use um so you use these applicators and there's other applicators too there's larger sponges that you can use and you can also uh I got these these are in the nail right. nail art aisle <laughs> I got these for those tiny little spots that you might want to get into you can use these as well so, um, yeah, we'll be doing that. 
and then I will be doing some fine tuning in the regular soft pastels, my new pastels, which are harder soft pastels, and some of my handmade mungio and my shminka. And finishing them off with some of my um, pastel pencils, which will be my Derwent Pit pastels and my General pastels. So, yep, that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> And you just did a very, very basic outline. It, we didn't even get crazy on detail, so. No, all I did was outline in a um, pastel pencil. Mm -hmm. Just a white pastel pencil, so. Yeah. Um, now I'm trying to remember what I did earlier. <laughs> I think I went, I think I went in with the black area. And I'm just using the broad um, tip for this just so I can block in a larger area. And I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just trying to get down color. So we have Darcy and Nick and Aunt Patty. Hi. And I'm just trying to get this so you guys can all see what's going on. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> and it looks like Spectrum's doing its thing, but I turned it off on my phone. <laughs> it's just not working on your laptop. <laughs> so it's an angle to, he's got a little, like a triangle on his forehead here. He's such a darling dog. Mm-hmm. I'm sure his dick's <laughs> see if I can get this on uh, maybe a different browser will work. You can never do what you do, Shelly. <laughs> Sorry. And if you make a mistake, you go out of the lines, it's not a problem. We can patch that up later with the other things that we're going to be doing. So it's not a big deal. And I hope you guys um, try these and send me pictures of of your works of art. And feel free to share whatever you learn with other people. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because that's why we do this. And see all these streakiness of the, of the markers? That's not going to be a problem because it's all going to be covered up. But you do want to try to go in like a general direction though, or it doesn't yeah. matter at all? Yeah. I mean, I don't, like right now it's not going to be a problem, but generally mm -hmm. I always try to just remember to do that. You don't want it to be all squiggly and whirls and whatnot. I just try to remember to do that anyways, just because I never know what I want to keep and what. Mm. Now, um, I do want to remind everybody, we use pastel pastels, um, some of them are toxic, um, unless you are buying children's grade pastels, Not and, for they, the kiddos. <laughs> and they say that right on the label, non-toxic, never blow your pastels, because that dust will go in the air and it will get into your lungs, so... So try to remember that. We also have a John Staten on. Oh, very cool. Hello. And Darcy said, Rocket is a very noble subject. He is. He is indeed. I get so nervous when I am doing this that my glasses fog up. <laughs> cool. cool. Lorelai's watching Nama. Okay. Are you watching? Are you watching Nama? <laughs> so I am going over the entire paper. It gives me a base. Mm -hmm. 
And it, <laughs> gives something for my pastel um, to hang on to, too. I know it sounds, seems weird that I'm going over it. Yeah, it does. But I guess I can see how in your uh, piece that's already finished where you get the little under the eye highlights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm using Me Tint's um, pastel paper by Canson um, for this. And I just cut it down. So this this is, um, and I'm using my old Uhu markers. I have the worst time saying that. These are the alcohol markers, and this is the cool grade two right now. I like them. They work really good. Oh, Loki's looking for his boy. <laughs> If you're not careful, buddy, we'll do you next. Ah. My glasses are so bad. I can see myself on the <laughs> The cool air is coming in because I can feel it on my feet. Oh, I feel so good. I slept with the window open last night. Mm hmm. So did we. I can't stand the lack of lights. <laughs> That. <laughs> you too, Lorelai? <laughs> <laughs> Comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. <laughs> so now, um, I like to have these little sleeves. They look like this. Let's come out and show you. sleeves just look like this and you just um put them right on to your you slip them right on to your yeah you can the, um it's focused right over your paper so you can show oh, it right over your okay. paper yep so you and you just slip them right on to these plastic things mm. um so what i like to do is just reserve like some for the darks and whatever mm. and then to clean them off it's easy you just take a piece of paper and you can see this is what I did to one earlier. You just take paper, well, maybe that's not the best color to do that with. You just take paper until the color stops coming off. Hmm. Like that. And then you can use it. But I try to reserve them, and they will uh, wear away on your tougher fabrics. Mm. So if you were using a sanded paper, a sanded for like the pastels, these will get wore right away. So um, you can use them on them. I'm just warning you, they will get worn away. Mm. And then they also come with these. These little handheld ones. Yep. So, which I haven't used yet because these are my first time using them. <laughs> well, and it's probably nice because those you don't, you're not going to get it on your hands using the tool. Yeah. As opposed to the oops, and I didn't want to go in my white first, and I go in back first. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up my black, just like this, right off the pan. You don't need much. Is it like chalky, or is it more like a cream? Almost. It's like almost a... like cream. Mm. It's almost like a, a cream base powder. That's mm. what it feels like. And a little bit goes a long way. And it's really not very messy. Hmm. And you can tap it on. You can tap it on and you can move it around. Just like this. Can you see the whole thing? Or am I looking at too, too far down? Uh, so far, good. Um, I can always adjust the camera too, so. You do what's good for you. So now with me having that bottom layer of black, I don't have to get, you know, too overly dark with it. I can go 
So it's very easy to adjust, like I'm adjusting this right now. Mm. And if you do get dust, just tap it off or tap it over a garbage can. But don't go blowing it. Don't blow it, because it'll get into your air and it'll just disperse all through your air. Uh, Nix asked if you had still used, or yeah, if you had used a darker paper, should you still use a black? I would just to get the um, the effect because this you can still see the pastel has like a sparkle in it. Mm. Um, you will still see the difference between the black paper and this, mm. but it helps just tone the paper. I mean, it just tones the whole piece. Mm. You don't have to use as much. And it'd be good, for example, um, when I showed the one that she had done earlier today the part where she didn't put any uh, media medium on it like if you, if you used a black paper you could use that as a background yeah you could do a black scene or night scene something like that and we have black paper I don't know why I didn't use that <laughs> he said that this afternoon too I know. <laughs> it's just been an off day mm -hmm. I slept half the day I don't even know what's wrong with me <laughs> And if you get pastel, I don't know if they can see my pastels here. Uh, no. No. If you get pastel right on the very tip, you can get some very detailed drawing. Mm, okay. When you have the whole edge of the tool too, I mean, there's just yeah. a massive edge. And you can get um you get this one with a triangle too. Mm -hmm. You can get more of these. Um, they came with the plastic and the little rubber sleeves that go over top of them. I can't remember. They weren't overly overpriced, but like a few dollars or no, they were like in the teens. Oh, okay. I can't exactly remember how much. <laughs> so here I want to go in the direction of where the, the hair is laying. Make it look like fur. Yep. <laughs> okay. So now I want to go in the white. I don't know if you want to tap that. You Got some dust on it. There you go. And these will give you a lot less dust than a regular pastel, a regular soft pastel. But are these more toxic or they're kind of the same or it doesn't um, matter? It depends on the pastel you get. Mm. Like there are soft pastels that are. Um, non-toxic at all. They're made for children. Mm. They're your student grade. So if I were concerned about toxicity, I would go with your student grade pastels. Those would be more of your like, um, I have some too. I think I'm going to use it right now. Like, <laughs> like my, I know my generals are non-toxic. Mm -hmm. Um, we can always add it later. Yeah. If somebody needs to know for yeah. their class or something. <clears throat> but anytime you get into artist grade pastels, you are going to be into your toxic mm. minerals. So. Hmm. Maybe that's why they always sell the cheap stuff at the store, so. Probably. <laughs> but there isn't a big learning curve with these, I've noticed. I mean, I was able to just start, and I'm not the 
sharpest packing drawer. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, is it wise to consider wearing a dust mask or some type of respirator due to the toxicity? There are people who do, and they have mm. actually, um, people who are strictly, um, pastel artists, they do have dust collectors in their art studios. Hmm. So, yeah. If you're going to be doing just pastels, a lot of people do do that. And I don't then, know about a re respirator, but I know a lot of people use gloves because e uh, it can even get absorbed into your skin. Some of the, um, some of the pigments. Yeah, the pigments because these are the same pigments that, um, all of the pastels. They're the same pigments as in your oils and your watercolor paints. They're just in a different bind or a different form. I imagine if you have if you're somebody that has um, severe allergies or a sensitivity like a respiratory absolutely um, immune issue yeah. probably yes absolutely yeah. you would want to stay away from you could probably get more use these more than you could a soft pastel mm. but yes I would stay away from pastels if that were the issue or go with an oil pastel because those do not have dust. Mm. Your oil pastels are, and they're a lot of fun. So I, I love oil pastels. Or your crayons, like we were doing on, what was that Saturday that we did the crayons? Yeah, Saturday was that. Days are blurring. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we did crayons, I want to say Saturday we did a crayon piece. But those um, can give you the same effect. Just about. Mm. And you're still having that tactile feel of having something in your hand, pushing it around, but mm. you are not breathing it in. So you just have to be very, very careful with these. And I imagine somebody with asthma, even though you're being very careful, you still don't want to be breathing yeah. in any of the dust. So yeah, you would still want to be careful. Yeah, or somebody that just had pneumonia or something that's mm -hmm. you know, very prone to pneumonia, things like that. Now your your pan pastel, I noticed that you got it as like a set. So um, you have like a gray, black, and white set, and then you also have one that's like a skin tone set. Skin tone. So mm -hmm. you have to buy everything in like a certain set or is there like a, a complete collection you can get or you can get a complete collection and um spend a lot of money spend a lot of money <laughs> you can get these sets i think i paid like 40 dollars but you're hardly using any <laughs> and hardly that's gonna last, last you forever, forever. <laughs> i got a skin tone mm -hmm. And I got these because I wanted to start doing things like this. Mm -hmm. And then um, they have like a painterly set, which comes with all your primary colors. <coughs> now, how easy do you, would it be to like mix them, do you think? To like to um, make the shades that you want? That, with your harder um, mediums like this, it's not as easy. That's why you mm -hmm. should get more colors. But if you find that you need a certain color, you can get certain colors individually with mm. these. So, but yeah, um, it's not as easy as like mixing up a watercolor mm. to get your, your shade or a oil. <clears throat> Nick said, see, dead, or dad breathed the dust. <laughs> I know, oh my goodness, he's <laughs> chowing down some peanuts in there. <laughs> That's the Revenge of the Crows. That's supposed to be the crow food. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody told him. <laughs> They're not even salted. They can't even taste good. <laughs> uh, Darcy said Russ snorted a crayon. <laughs> That's where Lorelai's crayons are at. Okay. <laughs> Lorelai's got good crayons. Behind my back right in front of me? Yes. <laughs> right in front of you. Behind your back right in front of you. Huh? <laughs> 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 
and the baby's having fits. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. Now, I think I will take. Poor Eli, you love the ABCs. <laughs> Might have to turn the bunny off. <laughs> Oh, well. you get everything when you tune into us. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we have to contend with every day. All day. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. <laughs> and we know all the songs in order. <laughs> and the bunny's going to go night night. <laughs> Bunny's gonna go night night. Don't say that. <laughs> well, it's coming. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's really quiet in here. <laughs> she can find another way to be. <laughs> well, now she's gonna throw it out because. <laughs> yeah. Now she's gonna be mad. <laughs> I don't know if I put the, <laughs> Darcy said his elbow there. No, it's Bunny. <laughs> now see, I can get some pretty good detail by mm -hmm. just going on the tip of this. Wow, I'm surprised that the internet is being wonky tonight. Maybe we're like, oh, we're not going to have a problem while I turned the internet off on my phone, so I'm just going by data, so it should be should be better. Um, but yeah, I can tell that it's cutting in and out on the computer. Well, hopefully she's having her last hurrah before she gets tired and then... Go Wait, yeah, well then when we go home, yeah. Go home, you want to go to bed. See, I'm almost worn this one out. Oh, wow. Well, you, this is your well, third I've one been today. a little rough on it today. Yeah. And this is your, she did um, a practice piece this morning. And then the piece that is finished that we showed you guys at the beginning of the video is actually the second one that she did today. So this is her third rocket face. Yep. So. <laughs> She's going to load his face into the toy. Well, the fact that he lays over the couch into my face all the time. <laughs> like he's a panther. <laughs> he's watching your breathing. <laughs> he's a crazy dog. Mm -hmm. Now if you don't get the dust dot, like for example you have um, uh, lighter colored dust on your black spots, if you don't get that off at a certain point, does it stay or does it come off pretty no, easy? No, it'll come off. Mm. really cool about the husky eyes is they have the a little bit of the black skin around it so it really just kind of makes their so the ones that have blue eyes makes their blue eyes pop a lot yeah I wish I could do uh, eye makeup the way they do <laughs> and it doesn't rub off <laughs> <laughs> and you can wake up just like that in the morning <laughs> really cool this is giving you a lot of good practice for our uh, next book <laughs> Lorelai agrees she well she wants to be in the next book Lorelai you want to be in the next book <laughs> Dar Darcy said rocket is doing a smoky eye <laughs> I thought it looked a little goth to me but 
I'm stubborn but emo. That's okay, I don't mind, but <laughs> I can like, see you're just 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 getting it done. Just get it done, Michelle. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, and it's your third one. I mean, that's it's my a lot. third one. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired today. It's gonna be a letter. Well, it looks really nice. So we gotta do something about this fine lighting. <laughs> I think that's an eye issue for you because it's very bright for me. I think it looks. I can see it brighter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I can barely see. <laughs> no. Oh, she's just doing the lid on that eye. He's got little white um, eyelashes. <laughs> his brother Rocket. Or his brother Loki. Oh, oh they were they probably I think there. Turbo went upstairs. I heard two dogs come down and Turbo went Did you, Were you up there? I went up the stairs. Oh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be sore. Oh, yes you are. You're right. ready. Right, give me my arthritis meds. You already had them. Thanks. That's probably why you went upstairs. <laughs> He's feeling good. He's feeling good. Try and wear it's ready, Smith, so you can go up the stairs. <laughs> Better not do him too much, bud. You whipper snippers. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible because Rocket's right here. <laughs> He'll be feeling it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a text at uh, 8 a.m. <laughs> Turbo's not moving. Is he okay? Feeling too good. Yep. They shall tell you in minutes. <laughs> they have great vantage point. No, you're staying in the house, buddy. No, yeah, you're not going out. Can we go up the stairs again? Nope. You stay with Mama. Uh oh, there's something else coming up. So the thing oh. with Laura. Is okay, the baby has seen that. If she does, if she doesn't get her way, or she's not getting enough attention, like. You know, she's like a husky. If we're just not giving her attention, she will cause trouble to get attention. She's a feral baby. And she will uh, just start taking toys and just throwing them out one by one. And she likes to make sure that she does it one at a time so you can hear it. She likes to look at you, too, to see if she's gotten your attention first. You have to jettison the non essentials. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, people, that you tuned into this. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy said, sweet yeah, little yeah. Furby. <laughs> All right. I know something. What? You know what? The hot tub's getting used. <laughs> I was like, whoops, I heard a girl voice. <laughs> Okay. And then I see Tyler walking out with bathrobe. <laughs> Keep it clean. Well, it's because it's like, I don't know. He's cold when it's 70 out, so it's what, mid 40s now? Okay. Well, here we go with the, with the dog face here. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Is this um, the chalk pastel or? This is my Munkio soft pastel. It's a handmade pastel. And I'll tell you, this is my absolute favorite. 
and it's not one of the more expensive ones. I've got Schminky and Sennelier soft pastels, which are far more expensive, and this is my favorite by far. Why? It's just, touch that. It's amazing. It, it's like a oily uh, chalk. It's butter. It's like buttery. I think of it as buttery, not oily. Okay. <laughs> Felt like oily chocolate. Or chalk, not chocolate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Darcy said the Millers are a fun family. Oh yes. <laughs> yes we are. <laughs> Tickets on sale now. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> Any questions? No, they're just, they're enjoying the show. Any comments? <laughs> like, you should really let this up, lady. <laughs> oh, no, there's been lots of comments about the, uh, the dad coughing. Any comments uh, about actual art? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody. Uh, well, I think tonight was a uh, definite, I should have just gone back to bed at night. <laughs> no. You're using you're using new things that people haven't seen yet. So. You can't see out of my glasses because they are so fogged up. Can you see this? Stop <sighs> radiating heat. Oh, it's so like I'm so tired. She works me to death during the day, people. I'm like this is the oh, only break on. I have gotten. I let you stop at twelve thirty. Yeah, started at six. Was that the end? No, it was a Ray Lee. Oh. You're a dancer. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful. Now, I can really feel the tooth getting full on this. It's not taking a whole lot more um, pastel. The what? The tooth of the paper. And this is a pastel paper, so. Um, is that like the uh, little hole part? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, we didn't know. Some of us didn't know that. Yep. Okay. So on the paper, the little hole part that picks up your medium is the tooth. Mm -hmm. I would think the spiky part would be the tooth, but no. I'm just saying, like it. It, it seems like backwards, but where's the spiky pa part on the paper? Like the part that stands up. This part right here. Okay, that's the tooth, like the waffle looking part. Mm -hmm. <sighs> my, my Can we just working. start over again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. No, everybody's having fun. That's the problem. <laughs> Good job watching the child, Grandpa. The, Good job. The baby job. Job. <laughs> she's just right. She's cleaning off her back and You just keep eating those peanuts. <laughs> She's about two-thirds done. Go, girl. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what time is it? Seven o'clock? Can I just show them what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> oh, you need to finish. Keep working. <laughs> Darcy said, I think you all have been sniffing the markers. <laughs> oh my God. I to see what this smelled like. <laughs> Darcy, it's been a long day. <laughs> Nick said, tap three times with the pastel if you need help. <laughs> Calling and reinforcements. <laughs> Calling and reinforcements. Oh. And she didn't let me eat supper yet either. I'm just saying. <laughs> you had seven minutes. You chose not to. <laughs> none. She's done none this week. She will not see Diane for a while. <laughs> I bet I'll see Diane tomorrow. Oh. So you're gonna do a cardinal in the morning? Oh, somebody's rubbing my back now. 
Beware. I'm She's sorry. Probably just softening I, it up. I'm sorry I threw out all your stuff. Smack. <laughs> Now, if I had used, um, if I had used, uh, sanded paper, which I have and I still have not used because everything is too precious, I feel like it, no, no, it's too, too good for me to use. <laughs> I have it. Um, um, I would have been able to layer much more on here. And I also have a spray that I can spray on here. So what would the sanded paper do? Like, what would would it just make it more textured looking, or is it, it would allow you to put down more, um, more without filling the tube. So you, it's like gridded sandpaper. Okay. Oops. I turned her off. That's right. Grandpa, you're already on the naughty list. So no. Don't try fixing it now. Too late. Don't tell me to stop. Um, Dude, I am the naughty list. Yes, you are. You've written it. Darcy said, you got lunch. That is enough. Thank you, Darcy. I didn't get lunch. She I had, had breakfast. She had breakfast. Same thing. It was a late breakfast. It was like at 1030. Good enough. Darcy, they don't feed me here. <laughs> sweatshop. <laughs> da, you have sweat. This is shop. <laughs> sweatshop. <laughs> Medic and so dramatic. <laughs> All righty. Now you're just making the um, hair texture. Mm -hmm. Giving them some eye waxes. Just go in the direction that you want the hair to go. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're doing like dogs or animals, it's good to have the reference picture or any kind of reference picture. So. You can see the direction of their hair because on different parts of even their face, it goes in different directions. Oh, this is so not turning out very well at all, guys. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? You're you're showing them the process. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. You're just showing them how to use the different media mediums to, you know, make the effect of fur, make the effect of eyes. So. Just remember that, guys. Not every piece has to not be every piece. Purse, not every piece is going to work out, and this <laughs> obviously is not working out. But you can, I mean, she's done three. All three are different. It's, you know. Oh. It still looks nice. It just looks like he's more in like a, a fog. It doesn't have the crispness that your other one does. So this is more like he's in a fog or something. <laughs> just like me. I'm <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> like, oh, I'm to bed now. <laughs> this is what my brain fog looks like through the eyes of a husky. <laughs> and then you can just put some, some highlights in here if you want. Anybody got any questions or comments? Anybody willing to join us again next week? <laughs> or yeah. Saturday? <laughs> Nick said that this is perfect. He got this. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm going to actually zoom it because we're close to. So here's the, the one, one earlier when I was coherent. <laughs> um, let me get Barb Scooterman's on. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. on when I, uh, I'm not doing well. So the top one is the one that she worked on earlier today, and the bottom was the one that she worked on now if you're just joining her. When we're not um, doing well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darcy said, we're enjoying it. Nick said, painting and comedy. Oh, yeah, you get everything here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 
It's nice. But I think that top one you spent like two hours on this morning. No. Felt like you did two hours. There you go. Yeah. And in the little hairs. That makes all the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It is, I gotta tell you though, it is messy. Yeah. Either way you go, it is messy. Yeah, this uh this morning she had blue and white all over her everywhere. Fingers. Yep. So um yeah. So pan pastels, you definitely recommend them, or are they a little bit trickier um, to use? They're the harder medium that I have used so far. So if you're gonna start out with them, just start out with well, it's kind of hard. She kind of well, can't I just would start, start out with, with one a or two. Set. Like, yeah. um, I would probably start with a like the painterly set that has the um more common colors. Yeah, like your primary colors, so you could do a little bit more. Like this, I got so I could do like the huskies mm -hmm. and more like the Raidens and stuff like that. But that that's more expensive, right? So this set. Yeah. This set's Anytime you get a set, um, they're probably going to be about $40. Actually, um, there are sets that are stackable. Mm. They are a little bit cheaper. So I think you can get 10 to a set like that, and they might be like 30 If you do get these pan pastels, uh, one thing that Mom had mentioned to me, they break very easy, so put them someplace oh, where they're not going to get they will dropped, um, grabbed by kids, knocked off by cats or anything like that. They, so. Yeah, they will shatter on you. So we have a uh, Daryl Hartnagel oh, and a, I want to say, it's Morgan Lee. Oh, hi. It was hard to see because uh, of the you angle. You see how but... soft these pastels are? I had this just sitting in this tin, just like this, and it's already like disintegrating on me. Oh wow. And this is a schminky. I know that just from the feel. And look at I picked it up. That's what was all over your hands earlier. And that's just from me picking it up like this, that's mm. how much came off on my hand. So they are very, very, very soft. Hmm. And that's just touching his eyes. That's how much blue I got on his eyes just now. Wow. Yep. And if I wanted to get out the soft pastels, I could do a whole lot more with the soft pastels. Yeah, she has a whole drawer, like I a four drawer drawers. unit yes. with the pastels. It's crazy. Yep. I think I'll have to do a tour of the room one day to show all <gasps> the nonsense. Let me dust first. <laughs> the nonsense, yeah. But oh, it's you no, everything. No, though. yeah, I meant that as. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. So we need a studio. Yep. We are taking donations for the GoFundMe page, by the way, Absolutely. for the studio for the um, community center that we want to mm -hmm. build, the art center. Yep. We're yep. going to do children's lessons and adult lessons, mm -hmm. and hopefully we will be up and building that next spring. And it's not just to, you know, if you want to become a full-fledged artist. It's if you, also, if you just want to, you know, do something for therapy just to relax or, um, you know, get your brain engaged, anything like that. Yeah, this um, helped me through a really hard find time. Find motor skills, things this like that. This helped me through a really hard time when um, I was, um, I had a brain injury and I was going through months of physical therapy and cognitive and speech therapy mm -hmm. just to get back to work. And then I was told by my therapist that I probably should plan on not going back to work and I was heartbroken. Yeah. And um, turning to art really got me through that when everybody else was able to go back to school and I couldn't go back to my students. This got me through it. So if I can help other people get you know, through some trying times by helping them with through through it with art, mm -hmm. that would be great. So anything that you want to share with others that you've learned through here, maybe not tonight's lesson, <laughs> but <laughs> feel free. We're not greedy with our art lessons. Absolutely, so. yeah. 
or if you have questions, you're working on something and you're stuck um, and you just need like, uh, I don't know where to go from here. What do you think? You know, um, throw it to us and mom will take a look at it and see if she can offer some advice. And if not, she can reach out to a bunch of people that she knows too. So there's, yep. it's, it's a huge community. It's not just us and it's not just one or two people. It's a, it's a whole community. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to call it quits for the night guys, because my brain, I can feel is shutting down. Mm -hmm. and it does that <laughs> at a certain point. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody who joined in and I'm, Hoping that you will on Saturday oh my join in again because I'm sure I'll be back. <laughs> mornings are usually better for me. <laughs> yeah, we seem to uh, when we were doing the I think it was Tuesday nights before we did have like a larger audience, but um, especially because Mom still was in the healing stage, she would shut down very early. I think she could do like half an hour max, and then it just kind of petered off from there. Well, so. and I tackled something very difficult. This is the first time I've done the. What? Pan pastel. So I tackled something a little over my head tonight and for you know night time. <laughs> it's it's good for people to see you using something that's that I relatively with. new for you. Yeah. Because then they can say, oh, okay, she didn't just jump into it and do like, you know, a professional painting. You know, she was playing with it, had fun, and it still looked nice. No. And you showed what you can do with it. And what I cannot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my so gosh. if you guys have any suggestions of what we could do on Saturday, let us know. Like a cardinal? Uh, <laughs> or what medium you would like us to use with a watercolor or oil or... They oh. said Natasha should feed you too. <laughs> yes, I could probably use some food since I haven't eaten since 9 this morning. That might help. <laughs> I'm telling you, she doesn't let me eat. <laughs> when you and I'll, cardinal, all I had is one bottle of water as well, guys. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and the toys are flying again. You so we will there. sign off. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. And I hope we see you again on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. Thank you, everybody. Night. Night. Night.